Homer Brown here, Tamer Down River Excursions in Whitebird, Idaho. We're going over some shrimp right now. The shrimp bites really on the Salmon River. We've been doing pretty good on the steelhead. And this is how I personally like to prime my shrimp before we head out on the river. I like to use a plastic container that way if I'm in the river bank and I drop it, I don't break everything and lose a bunch of stuff. I, or if I'm in the boat and drop it, it doesn't, it just bounces, it doesn't break and I have a bunch of dye and everything all over the place. Uh, I'm a big fan of Potsky's Fire Brine and the Potsky's Nectar. What I have here is about three pounds of striped shrimp, some salt, and about a quarter cup of sugar. First thing I do, pour my sugar in right on top of my shrimp. Then I'll add a pretty good shot of salt. And just pour this fire brand right on top of it. I usually let this sit in the fridge overnight, shake it up a little bit, get that salt and everything kind of working in there. And this generally is how I fry my shrimp every time we go fishing. It doesn't take very long, it seems to add quite a bit to the fish or to the shrimp when I'm fishing. When I'm done with this, I'm going to pour this brine off and that's where the nectar comes in. That's the last thing I do. I'll, I'll pour this off after letting it sit overnight and I'll take this whole thing and pour it right in there with the shrimp and then I just leave that in there and let it marinate um, for the entire time I'm using these shrimp. I can freeze them after this. They seem to hold pretty well frozen after this. Or if I generally just fish them the way that they are and let it go until I'm done with them. So that's my way I can use these striped shrimp on the salmon river.